Hello, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Good evening. How are you, Mr. Mauricio? Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Mr. Mauricio. I cannot hear you. <coughs> okay, Miss Esmeralda, welcome. No se escucha, Mr. Mauricio, it's you. Hello? Estoy... Hello. Hello. Estoy algo enfermo de la oh, garganta. Oh, my goodness. I understand, Mr. Thank you for ¿Qué? telling me. Voy, voy a estar de oyente nada más. Porque okay. Me siento un poquito mal. Okay, Mr. No problem. Gracias que me avisó. That's okay. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Ahí le, vamos a... le voy a poner oyente ahorita, okay? Va. Okay, gracias. No problem. Hello, Miss Rebecca. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you, Miss? Mm, fine, fine. But I, me duele el nozo. <laughs> Ay, oh my goodness. Todos it's sick today. Todos están enfermos ahora. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> es que es la the season of the of the enfermedades, right? Es la semana, like, conjuntivitis, ahora escuché de conjuntivitis, de tortro, flu, cold, everything right now. Oh my goodness. But don't worry, that's okay. I know that uh, um, it's like impossible not to get sick, más que está un poco fresco. I guess it's super cold over there. Right? In Occidente, it's, it's super cold because here it's it's cold right now. So it's as here well. Is, here it's cold. Uh -huh. Yeah, here in San Miguel it's cold. And here in San Miguel it's like, it's snowing <laughs> for us. Ahorita está este lado, pero aquí es como que se está nevando. Yeah, like it's, it's cold. So it's good. It's good. I love it. But I get sick every time that it's uh, cold. And so, no. Okay, Miss Andrea, I am sorry. Todos están sick. No. Hello, Miss Abigail. Hello, Miss. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, hello Miss Abigail. Hello, Mr. Jorge Antonio. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's see. It's already four minutes. <clears throat> Give me one second. So right now, <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the class. Okay, there you can see the presentation now. So let's go ahead and start with today's class. So today we are going to continue with the English for Work program. This is basic module number four. My name one more time is Lisa Rosemary Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Wednesday, November 9, 2022, right? And today we are going to continue with the unit number four. We are going to start with the last unit for this module number four, okay? Vamos con la última unidad de este módulo, okay? Um, number four, that is accounting, okay? Accounting is for, 
We are going to see a little bit about the words that they are used in accounting. And also you're going to describe some financial activities. And then uh, what else? I don't remember what else it's, uh, what we are going to do. Oh yes, we are going to do some activities related with this uh, about accounting, okay? Vamos a ver las actividades o verbos que utilizamos en accounting or financial things, like cosas financieras y, y en contaduría. So we are going to learn a little bit about those words, okay? And that are used in a company. Oh my goodness, wait a second. It went to the end, sorry. Se fue al final. So, and also we are going to talk about a little bit about the people and the things that are related to accounting. And so let's see what else. So to start, I had this game that it was for the verbs, okay? But we are going to change it because I think some of you are a little bit sick. I don't know if you get, you can get in. Just give me one second, okay. Okay, so give me a second, please, because I'm gonna change it because I I know that you are a little bit sick, as I said before. So we are going to do one last practice for the um, simple past. And as you can see here, we are going to have some words, okay? So what are you going to do? You have to tell me the correct order, okay? So tell me what's the correct order for this one. I was asleep. Uh -huh. At mm -hmm. six o'clock this morning. Excellent. Thank you very much, Miss. <coughs> okay, let's see next one. Number two. What do you think is this one? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I was. I was. Uh huh. With. I was with. Uh huh. With friends last night. Friday last night. Friday last night. Last night Friday. So <laughs> last Friday night. You can say that. Okay. So next one. How do you think it's this one? I was. Uh huh. At home. I was at home. Mm -hmm. On, on uh -huh. afternoon Sunday. Of no Sunday Sunday afternoon. afternoon. Oh yay! Sunday afternoon. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see next one. I was. Mm -hmm. Holiday on. Um, I was holiday. You say. Holiday. Oh, I, I just have <laughs> another solo. That's good. Let's see next one. I was lucky last week. Okay, I was lucky last week. Excellent. What have happened to the other ones? Uh, so we have Mr. Jorge, Mr. Juan Jose. Hello, Mr. Welcome. Miss Lady, Miss Rebecca, huh? Tell me here. I was. Uh huh. Thank you, Miss. Mm. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. No. Shower. Oh, no. mm, okay. I at, was. Uh -huh, at seven o'clock. No. Mm -mm. In. I was in. Uh huh. Shower. In shower. Nope. No. Hmm. In. Ah, uh, in this mon morning. In this morning. No. no. I in was seven this morning. I was this morning. I was this morning. No, but in is correct. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. 
No. No. I was shower. I was shower. No. Shower. Shower. No. The shower. <laughs> the shower yes i was in the shower, shower. at seven at o'clock seven o'clock yes seven mm -hmm. o'clock this morning it's the next one i mm -hmm. was i was <coughs> i was in bed Mm -hmm. At mm, el eleven o'clock last night. Yes. Let's see next one. This one. I was. I was. Gym. Gym. At gym. Oh, at the gym. Okay. Oh, yes. At the gym. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, Saturday morning. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. This one. I was tired on Monday. I was tired. I was tired. Um. Oh, Monday morning, they give you the answer. What about the other ones? I don't listen. Hello, Miss Dania. Jorge Antonio, help me here, please, mister. I was at I the was. restaurant last ah. night. Ah. Thank you. At a restaurant last night. Excellent. Hey, Mr. Jorge, now yes, please, please, please. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Juan Jose was quicker. Sorry. I was uh -huh. with with my family. Uh huh. Yes, last Sunday. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see next one. <laughs> I was born in Moscow. Yes, I was. Was. Born... Oh yes, thank you. Excellent. In Moscow. Let's see. This one. Miss Lady, are you are you oyente or are you hear me? Uh -huh. I was alone. I was alone at nine o'clock at nine o'clock yesterday evening yes awesome thank you let's see next one dania can you help me with the last one please <laughs> i was happy yesterday Yes, very good. Oh my goodness. I know you were wanted to practice, all wanted to practice here. Don't worry. That was awesome. Thank you for doing it. And it was just to practice a little bit of the simple past, the the was, right? Because remember that the was it was one of the most common ones to use, right? So yes, let's go with the next one. And the next activity that I have, it's called Pictionary. So Pictionary, it's a, a little game in which we are going to try to draw, but wait a second, because I'm gonna create a link in which you are going to be able to draw. Okay, just give me one second so I can share the board. Okay. So, les voy a compartir un link okay, en el cual ustedes van a poder ingresar y van a poder escribir y editar o whatever, ¿ok? But, uh, what are you going to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? You're going to draw what I am going to send you. Ustedes van a dibujar lo que les voy a enviar, ¿ok? So, I, I, that, this is the link. Go to the link. I already shared the link. 
And as you can see here, I have some like lines and then, oh no, wait, you cannot see that, sorry. Si le dan click en el link, pues les va a aparecer esto. And then uh, if you want to delete, you do it like this, you select it. Okay, and so on like that. I have, oh, I have one person already. Just alguien que está aquí, like, oh, I have two more. Hi. Oh, great, I have two more. Okay, I'm gonna send you a phrase. Les voy a mandar una phrase right now. So you can do it. Let's start with Miss Abigail then because she's already in. So Miss, it would be a sentence in past, but it would be negative, okay? Or affirmative, depending, okay? So, okay, Miss Abigail, you can start drawing. Todos pueden verla por ahí. Igual se la voy a compartir ahorita yo. Miss Abigail? Okay, there. Can you see it? Okay, so what do you think is that? Sometimes angry. Somebody angry. <laughs> Some somebody is angry? No. Uh huh. Any idea what is that? Is una frase una palabra, teacher? It's a sentence in the simple past. She was. <laughs> she was. No, she is not. She was. <laughs> so what do you think? Somebody slip? Oh, something like that, but the sentence it could be uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's a sentence in past remember it's a sentence in past recuerden que es una oración en pasado somebody was no, somebody was no. She was tired. No. <laughs> what is the verb when you go to She the went bed? to the bed. Um, yes, very good. So she she mm -hmm. didn't. Ah, didn't? Uh, what? Sleep. Exactly. She didn't sleep. Also, thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. No problem, Miss. Miss Ilsia, welcome. Okay. Let's do one more. ¿Quién más está en el, en el group? Who else? Porque solo me salen visitantes, pero no me... Y alguien está inactivo. ¿Quiénes están ahí? ¿Quién, who, are, who is in the, in the whiteboard? Mr. Juan Jose or Miss Lady Jorge, are you there? Están dentro? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so Mr. Juan Jose, then it will be the next one. Uy, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Wait a second, Mr. Chat. Okay, Mr. There you have it. I sent you the sentence. And then you can see it here too, everybody. Okay, so what do you think is that, everybody? What do you think it could be the answer? He mm -hmm. Drink coffee? He drink coffee. Drank coffee. Oh, no. They drink they. coffee? Or we? Uh, 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 they, 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 it's correct. They, ah, uh, they, they drank coffee in the morning. Drank coffee. <laughs> yes, they, well, it's not in the morning. But it was they drank coffee in the, oh, well, yes, I thought it, I brought, um, I brought in the breakfast, but it's in the morning. Very good. Nice, mister. Let's see one more. What about Mr. Jorge? Are you in? Or yes, sir. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you a sentence. Wait a second. Mr. Jorge, one more. And this one, it will be in negative. Okay. Hello, Mr. Francisco. Welcome. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, mister. How are you? I am very good. How are nice. you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking, mister. You're welcome. Nice, nice. What did I? Uy, no, les dije la respuesta. <laughs> Wait a second. I was reading it out loud. Okay. Okay, there, Mr. Jorge. You can see it right now. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna erase this one, okay? So you can do yours, okay? There you have it. Ahí eliminé la obra que había hecho, Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. I'm so sorry for that. Wow, oh, the masterpiece that you had over there. Mr. Jorge, could you do it? No, did you? Oh, really? But I can see there oh, right now. Let's try yeah. it. Tiene que pulsar, así como que like something. I don't know. Uh -huh. tiene, que, tiene que pulsar, like, wait a second, one more time. Okay, right now, try it. Nothing. Nothing? No. Oh, that's sad, Mr. Because I wanted you to do it, but okay, if you cannot do it. No, I can't. I okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna do one then, the one that you had. Okay, so oh, yeah. if, okay, no problem. Okay, so it was like this. This it's me, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, my drawing. I cannot draw. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> okay, what do you think is this? You have, you don't stay. 
<laughs> what do you think? What do you think is the 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 these are the shoes, okay? Uh huh. What do you think is the sentence? It's in past. I went. She didn't go to the school. No. <laughs> she went to a school. Uh, ah, no. I went to a school. Uh, no. I don't know. Hi. Mm -hmm. Ah, she walk. Uh huh. To the school. Ah. No, but it's in negative. No. Ah, uh, she, she didn't, didn't walk to didn't, school. I didn't walk. I didn't. At the walk? school or no, to the school. Work, no. I come. Cabinet. I didn't walk. No. Otra pista. The teacher didn't walk to school. No. Where? Huh? Where? No. Uh, she. Mm -hmm. She where? Western. No. Went in the school. <laughs> she went. It's negative. It's negative. She did. What? I did it. She... Sorry. I didn't walk. Oh, walk. Yes. Aquí falta algo. At the school. No. La S que se entra. Ah, yo no entendí. In the morning. No. <laughs> Sunday. Sun. Yeah. I did. Ah. I didn't work on Sunday. Yeah, but good try, good try. Thank you for doing it. That was the sentence that Mr. Um, that Mr. Jorge had. Thank you, Mr. Doe, for trying. I'm sorry that you couldn't play. Okay, and I, you can see my Picasso art. I know I have a, a feeling for, <laughs> for art. Okay, so let's do attendance section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente, okay? And wait a second. Okay, Abigail Mejia. Okay, she's not here. Andrea Amalia. Thank you, Miss. Daniel Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Dilcia Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Ezequiel. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth. I don't know who else. Miss Kenny. Oh, no, she's not here. A lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Maurice Antonio. Present teacher. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Sandra Vigail. Present. Thank you, Sandra Patricia. Stephanie Michelle. Okay. Okay, so there we have the attendance section. Thank you very much for doing it. Okay, it's now, as I told you before, Today we are going to continue with the new unit number four and the last unit for this module that we finish next next Tuesday. But the platform, we have to have it finished by Friday at least, okay? La plataforma ya tiene que estar completa, o sea, con todas las actividades, por lo menos para el viernes, okay? And if you have any questions, remember that you can ask me. Recuerdo que alguien me envió una, una foto, pero I don't remember who, no me acuerdo Bye. quién. Oh, Hi. a mi Rebeca. Yes. Mm? Oh, Miss Abigail. Not again. Ah, okay, Miss. I have a question about this. Tell me. Um, para hacer una, una oración yeah. utilizando el if, después del if, el verbo oh. debe ir en forma base en pasado. 
present. O en pasado. Present. En presente. Yes. Pero es este tipo. Es este que tipo. Sigue. Present too. Y, la, y en la siguiente oración, porque son como unas clausas. Dos oraciones. Pero, dos oraciones. En, present, ajá. present. Y cuando se llama y present, present. Ya, eh. yeah, present, present. Uh, es que... Eh. I don't want to like, uh, like move on, but uh, the zero conditional, el zero conditional se habla de cosas um, that are true facts, son cosas verdaderas, que son probadas, so they are real, son, con, son cosas reales o que pueden suceder, entonces por eso se utiliza el simple present para las dos oraciones, ya sea en positivo o en negativo, y utilizas el if o el when with that. Uh, Miss, no me acuerdo qué ejercicio era. Can you remember what exercise? Oh, I, I found it. 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. I have, and what happened? Pero Miss, I already sent you those answers. Ya te envié esas respuestas, right? Mm, es que primero solo había puesto el verbo. <laughs> en alguna. Ah, no, you have to write everything, Miss. It's like here, you have giving, having, getting, and providing. That's for exercise number 18, okay? 18. Yeah. And then for exercise number 19, give me one second. Uh, so wait a second. So let me show you. We, what happened? Okay, so for this one, it would be the answers like this. If I wake up late, I am late for work. My son burns the food if he cooks a lot, and if the employees don't eat well, they are healthy. If she pays her bill on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. And if he, if the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. Those are the answers for this, okay, Miss? Maybe you can take a screenshot, but maybe you can take a picture because I forgot, Miss, so oh, sorry. But you have it now. Yo dije en la clase, pues igual los demás van a tener ahí la idea. So, yes, remember, please, please have it. This week you have the final exam and you also have the, uh, the fourth uh, section, right? Give me one second because I want to tell you how much are you missing. Este, quiero, quiero ver cómo vamos because I haven't checked. I didn't check uh, yesterday. I forgot. Because I was having trouble with my, oh, my goodness, you're so good. So, Miss Abigail, she, she finished. So, Miss Dizia, you're missing unit number three. Please try to do, do it. Also, Mr. Jorge, you're missing some exercise from unit number three, mister. And then Miss Sandra, ah, pero Miss Sandra no está. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Solo ustedes, uh, and Miss Stephanie, and Miss, uh, what's the other one say? There's another game, uh, name, sorry, but I don't remember. Okay, but try to do it, okay, by uh, maybe tomorrow, okay? Because, yeah, you would need it. Remember that it's very important so you can practice, okay? Now let's go ahead and let's start with unit number three. And first of all, I have here some questions and it says, oh my goodness. Define, uh, do you know any words for financial statements? Do you have any ideas for that? What is that, financial statements? Any thoughts? Like what is that? What do you think when you see financial statements? What do you think it is? Termino financiero. Exactly. Son palabras o oh, términos financieros, okay? Statements. Now, here. So, here we have a little bit of um, a definition what is a financial statement as well because it's also a, a, a it's like a word that we use 
uh, like to this, okay, for finances, okay. Eh, igual, financial statements tiene una definición y por acá la tenemos. Can you help me to read, please, Miss Dania, the financial statement, please? Financial statements are writing records that convey the business activity mm -hmm. and the financial performance of a company. Exactly. So financial statements are everything that a company has to, to see how much money they had or they how much how much money they are going to win. Uh, or they are going to earn, okay? Los eh, estados financieros, okay? O las propuestas financieras también pueden ser. Son como los récords, okay? De todo o lo, o lo que tienen guardado las, las hojas de estas de contabilidad, podríamos decir, okay? De todas las actividades financieras que tiene una compañía, como las, las like, todo van anotando, por ejemplo, en algunos lugares qué es lo que gastan, depende de la compañía, ¿verdad? Si es grande o pequeña, lo, pues lo tienen, la, la grandes pues la tienen en, en algunas plataformas, ¿verdad? Y las pequeñas pues a veces lo van anotando en un libro, like a, in a fan, finance book, que es como, ay, ¿cómo se llama ese libro? I forgot. It's a little book, it's a brown book, and so they have it in a different in different ways right and we are going to learn that in english today okay so let's start with the first definition that we are going to have today it is this one cash flow cash flow is very important and here we have a definition okay this is the cash flow can you help me to read please miss mr francisco what is the cash flow Cash flow mm -hmm. report on the company's incoming and oncoming of cash. Of cash, it yes. is oper operating invest investing. Investing, yes. Investing and, and, and financing. Se me separó ahí. Uh, financing. Financing. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Very good. <laughs> a cash flow. Uh, it would be like uh, the when the money goes and comes okay el cash flow es como el, el fluid la fluidez del dinero okay so uh so the cash flow you have to write it down the incomes okay lo que obtienen and the upcomings okay eh, las cosas el dinero que viene y va o sea el que reciben el que gastan right and and also when you are investing cuando invierten verdad porque todas las compañías tienen que investing right they have to invest to see more money or maybe they are financing ahí lo siento que se me separó financing uh well they have investing and financing activities. Thank you, mister, for reading it. Let's go and continue with the next one. The next uh, financial statement or word, it would be, I'm sorry, income statement. Can help me to read, please, mister uh, Jorge. Income statements. Yeah. Summarizes a company's incomes expenses and provides over a period of time. Excellent, thank you, Mr. Yes, incomes are uh, of a statements, income statements in a company, right? It's like uh, they uh, see, okay, like if they are receiving, they are good, okay, si reciben, como los resultados, okay, de, eh, y ahí como pueden ver, tienen una imagen, de lo que se gasta y, y lo que han gastado y lo que han ganado, okay? Profits, ganancias, expenses, gastos, okay? So as you can see here, we have a little bit of um, a income statement. Aquí tenemos un, like, uh, un estado de resultado de lo que se gastó. Ve, aquí tenemos renews, renovaciones, expenses, gastos, income, uh, ingresos, okay? And here we have uh, gains, ganancias, luces, pérdidas, okay? And, and it, this is something similar a how like an income statement looks, okay? Aquí está un ejemplo de cómo luce un estado de resultados de una company, okay? I'm sorry I'm using Spanglish, but it's just to explain, okay? I'm sorry. Let's go and continue. Let's go with the next one. It would be 
equity statement. Help me to read, please, Mr. Juan Jose. Equity. Equity statement mm -hmm. reports on the change in retaining earning of a company during the <laughs> state period. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. So yeah, equity statement. So this is a, an example, okay? Aquí como pueden ver, tiene un ejemplo de un equity statement. It's basically una declaración de patrimonio, okay? Uh, and this one is similar to the income statement. It's similar, but in this one, you have a report, okay? On the changes, okay? On the earnings uh, or the, also the losses, okay? Uh, or the outcomes, okay? So in este eh, equity statement tienes un reporte, okay? De lo que ganas, de lo que pierdes, pero de un periodo de tiempo. En el cambio en el otro, pues este diario, okay? And this one, no, it's like every, like every month maybe, como el reporte que hacen tal vez cada mes, los contadores, okay? Or a year, maybe. So this will be the equity statement, okay? Questions so far? Out so far. How do you say flujo de efectivo in English? Do you remember? Cash flow. Ah, how do you say estado like wait? Estado de resultado. Incoming Income statement. statement. Uh -huh. And then we have the equity statements. Next one. That it's for accounting, vocabulary for accounting. It's balance sheet, okay? Balance sheet. And the balance sheet, these you can do them in, there's a, a very famous platform, right? Excel. Or also we have now, ay, ¿cómo se llama? Like the drive, it, there's a new program, Cheats, Cheats uh, Drive, I think, something like that. And so here we have a definition for a uh, balance sheet. Help me to read, please, Miss Kenya. Balance sheet. Re reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Exactly. Thank you. So it's una hoja de balance, right? Or like um, una hoja de like contaduría que tienen like something similar to what you have here algo similar acá so you have the name okay and then you write how much right and then in there you're going to write the assets ahí van a escribir los assets the eh, assets activos okay then you're going to also write the liabilities okay that it would be eh, los pasivos okay and then the eh, quality that it's given to the owners, okay? So van a escribir todo lo que se gana, lo que se, o lo que está guardado, okay? Los activos y pasivos, but in, remember assets, eh, it would be the, oh my goodness, I forgot. Assets, it would be the um, activos, sorry. And then the liabilities, the pasivos or the things that you are like, losing and then about the owner's quality i think I, i'm not sure i i know a little bit about accounting but not that much okay so if you know more let me know okay this is something like it looks like this the balance sheet okay Así luce una hoja de resultados, okay? So, and, and here in El Salvador, we have like a book, right? Aquí en El Salvador, un cuaderno, hay un cuaderno, I remember. Que, Plymouth. I'm sorry? Liz Plymouth. Liz Plymouth. No es eso. I don't know. Es las Liz Plymouth, la normativa. No, no, no. Es, hay, un no? Cuader, hay un cuaderno, no, hay un cuaderno. El libro diario mayor. Yes, that one. It's brown, right? Es como brown. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Ajá, ese libro the es... order book. Exactly. Well, that book has a balance. Well, all the pages are balance sheet, right? Todas las páginas que están en ese book or notebook es, tienen eh, hojas de balance. ¿Por qué? Porque hasta tienen cabal como la sección donde van a escribir el nombre y después donde van a poner el, la, la quantity, la cantidad, okay? So they are balance, they have balance sheets, okay? 
and we have it here in El Salvador. I think it doesn't exist in another country only. Well, in Latin America, it exists, obviously, but not in the United States. I think they don't have it, really. They only use uh, uh, like uh, Excel or, or maybe cheats in Drive. Now, there are other verbs, like, for example, investment. Uh, do you remember what is investment or invest? And finance. Finance or investment. Well, in this one, invest or investment is invertir. Finance, it's a finances, okay? So I'm gonna show you some words because these words can be verbs and they can be nouns, okay? Estos palabritas que ven por acá pueden ser verbos, pero al mismo tiempo pueden ser nouns, o sea, utilizados como un sujeto. And then I'm gonna show you the definition for them. So first we have a finance, okay? Finance, we have it in... Eh, three different ways, los tenemos en tres diferentes maneras. So to finance, que es verb, finance, that it will be the noun, and when we have finances, okay, that it will be different, I think it would be like an adjective, okay? So here we have three different uh, definitions, aquí tenemos tres definiciones diferentes, and we are going to find the, the correct definition for each of one of them, okay? So for example, to finance, which one do you think is the definition, Miss Lady? Investing or study of the management of funds. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so the, you think it's the number? This is the definition, Miss. Pero puede ser one, two, or three, Miss. Uh, um, Rick, read that at them. To finance, remember it's a verb, okay? Two. I'm sorry? It's two. Two, two, okay, thank you. Let's see, next one. Can you help me with next one, Miss Rebecca? Finance, which one do you think? Miss Rebecca, are you there? Yes, I'm here, okay. I think. Oh, you're thinking <laughs> finance, okay. Which one do you think it is, number one or number three? Maybe three, I don't know. Uh, maybe three, okay, don't worry. Can you read it, please? The system that includes the circulation of money, mm -hmm. the granting of credit, mm -hmm. the making of investment, and the provision of banking facility. Okay, thank you, Miss. And then we have finances, finances, okay? And help me with this one, please, Miss Dania. Oh, Miss Abigail, please, finances. Uh, finances, mm -hmm. the science, mm -hmm. the science or science? Uh, science. The science mm -hmm. or study of the mana, manage, manage management uh -huh. of found. Mm -hmm. found. Founds. Thank you. Okay, so let's see the answers that you give. We are going to compare them. Let's see if you have them correct. Oh, we have one more. But oh, nice. Number one is correct to finance. To finance is the definition is the obtaining or providing of founds or capital of something, founds, fondos, okay? Esto, it means fondos, okay? Uh, capital, capital, right? Then let's see, next one, finance. Oh no, that one is incorrect. So finance, it is 
the science or study of the management of fund. So finance es el, la ciencia o el estudio del manejo <coughs> de los fondos. Okay, and then we have finances. It would be, ay, se me movió esto, pero es, it would be the system that includes the circulation of money, the granting of credit, the making of investment, and the provision of banking facilities, okay? So these are the definitions for each one of them. Okay, wait, but just let me fix that one because it's it's moved. Está un poco ahí. Y, wait a second. I think now it's, yeah, perfect. It's perfecto now. Wait a second. Okay. So we have there and then Finances also, it's the money or other liquid resource of government, business group, or individual. So these are the difference, okay? Así los pueden ver y los pueden encontrar eh, la, la palabra finance. Depende del de contexto, las palabras que tenga al inicio. Because if you see to finance, remember it's a verb, okay? Finance, it will be a noun. And then we have uh, finances that it would be like the concept in this case, or maybe it can also be um, like a, wait, it could be like a pronoun maybe, also a noun. And this is like the definition as well, okay? Question so far about this? Questions, questions? or doubts. No questions. Okay, let me go ahead and continue. The next one, next one, uh, we're going to have, oh, make a statement. He says, no, we're not going to do that one. Oh, these are sentences, but we're not going to do it. Give me one second. Ah, oh, what is investment? Uh, any ideas what is investment? Inversión. Okay, very good. Any other idea? But in English, what can you say? Because I already give you the definition, remember? Okay, so in this one, it would be investment. The definition we are going to say, it's like to spend money with the goal of receiving more money, right? Yes, it's invertir, yes. But remember, when we invest, we put money, right? Because we want to receive more money, right? So that would be in English, right? And then... Um, Oh, wait, this one, no, I think no. Oh no, this one's no. Okay, now, now that we have read all the definitions, all the words, I am going to see if you remember these words, okay? Give me one second. I just want to check on something. Vamos a ver si recortamos este vocabulario que les acabo de dar. Y how are we going to do it? Give me one second. Give me one tiny little second because I forgot to open this game that we are going to use. So basically, you're going to write every word that you remember that I just give you, okay? Because there was um, a lot of new words that you were washing in the little text, okay? That I show you. So give me one second. Second, 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 please. Mm -mm -mm. 
Give me one tiny little second. Okay. Why does it appear like this? Wait a second. Okay, there, I know it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna send you a link. In this link, you're going to write, okay, words that are related to accounting, okay, there. We know, se lo mandé solo a Mr. Jorge. So please write every word that you remember from the, the slides that I just showed you. Ahí en el chat les acabo de enviar un link en el cual ustedes van a escribir Todas las palabras que se acuerden que acabo de mostrarles in the presentation, okay? So let's go and let's do it, okay? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, please. Every word, uh, it, there it says enter a word, ahí le va a aparecer. Okay, I saw finance, investment to finance. Very good. Anything else? Tienen que ir al link que les acabo de enviar. Y ahí van a, ahí dice enter a word. Entonces a mí me van apareciendo acá, miren. Uh, balance sheet, Val, balance. Hmm, correct it, please. Okay, cash flow, uh -huh, statement, very good. Anything else? Hmm. You cannot repeat, no pueden repetir. Remember that there were so many words that you could write. Mm -hmm. Registration analysis, very good. Equity statement, ah, income statement, yes. How do you say activos, pasivos? Not active, no, no me van a poner active, verdad, porque no es así. ¿Cómo se dice? Huh. Let's see if you, if you were paying attention. Ah, assets, very good. Equity statements, very good. Liabilities, nice. As I look actives, uh huh. And how do you say? Oh, we have finance. Fi oh, this falta un finance. I have only eight people. Where's the rest? You have to write one word. Uh, banking, very good. What else? <coughs> oh, 
Okay, I think that's it for you, right? Because I cannot see in nobody else write it down more. Questions so far? Because right now we have, oh, accounting you wrote, that's awesome. Exactly, that was the, like the word basically, right? One of the words. So yes, we have equity, statement, balance, balance sheet, again, statement to finance. Finances, I didn't see it here. Statement, profit, you miss some of them. Like for example, pounds, remember fondos, right? You didn't say that one, you didn't wrote that one, okay? And there were also um, uh, the in invest, no, what invest, that was the verb, right? You didn't say that too. And also incomes, outcomes, okay? Lo que, lo que reciben y lo que vea se va. <laughs> eh, expenses, okay? They were all the words that you were missing too. Don't worry, that's, that's okay. Let's go with the next activity then. Now that we have learned a little bit of the vocabulary, we are going to go to the manual. In the manual, in page 39, yeah, 39, please. Wait a second. So in page 39, you have this. And here you have the definitions one more time. Um, so, which one do you think it's number one? Can you help me? Uh, you guys, everybody, can you help me? What is a cash flow? Can you tell me what number? Uh, what, what later? A with three. A with three, okay. Okay, so yes. Can you read it please, Miss Rebecca? Cash flow reports on a company incoming and outcoming of cash. Mm -hmm. It's operating, investing, and financial activities. Exactly, thank you. Miss Esmeralda, can you practice? Number two, income statements. Help me please. In letter number, let me see. Uh, income statements. Number, number one, teacher. Number one. Okay, yes. can you read it? Equity, equity chain report. No, number, chain. number, no, letter B means. Oh, mm -hmm. income statement. Yeah, income and statements, yeah. No, entonces, teacher, sería number four. Number four, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Sería income and stay. Statements. Mm -hmm. Statements. Summaries are companies, incomes, expense, and profit over a period of time. Okay, let's see. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's see next one. Um, can you help me with number uh, letter? I mean, letter Z, please, Mr. Jorge. Equity statement. Number equity statement. Letter C. Letter C. One, two. We only have, uh -huh. yes, letter C. But what's the definition? One or two? Number two. Um, no. One. Yes, it's number one. The equity statement. It's a little bit different from balance sheet. Can you read the definition, please, mister? Reports on the change in retained earnings of a company during the estate period. Exactly. So in the equity statement, I told you that, that it's like the report that the account the account uh, people give for a period of time, right? 
and what are the earnings, what are the the like the assets, the liabilities, okay, and all of that. And the balance sheet. Can you help me to read, please, Mr. Juan Jose? Number two. Mm -hmm. Can you read the definition, please, mister? Reports in company's asset, liabilities, and owner quality at a given point in time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Liabilities, okay? Assets. Liabilities. And then, liabilities. Yeah. Very good, mister. So, yes, in this one, the balance sheet, as I told you, it's like report, right, of everything that happens in, like, every day basically well i think everybody does it every day nowadays because of the scams that are happening so they have to do it every day we have any questions so far about this vocabulary that we have over here questions questions no questions Okay, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to continue. And now here we have some questions and it says, um, we have some statements here and I want you to give an opinion about these statements. Okay, so let's start with number one. Miss Kenya, can you help me to read number one, please? Number one, it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Yes, what do you think, everybody? Do you think it's, it's okay, it doesn't matter, it's not important? Mm -hmm. It's not- It's false because it's important to know uh, the situation, the final situation of your company. Exactly. Thank you for sharing, Miss Kenya. Good idea. What about the other ones? Do you think it's important to know the incomes and the outcomes of a company has? ¿Creen que es importante saber lo que ingresa y lo que se, se, se paga o se invierte, digamos, okay? En una compañía, is it important or not? It's not important. Yes, it's Why? important. Why, Miss? Because... Uh, the acquired statement oh. it, it is necessary uh, the information. Exactly, we need it for the equity statement. Excellent, Miss, thank you. Let's see number two, help me to read please, Mr. Francisco, number two. Okay, last year a company's owner fired and many people, the owner carrier such uh action to save the company aha uh -huh. what do you think about that everybody what do you think about firing people despedir like many people because they have uh some actions that that was one action to save the company and so what do you think about that good bad or they should do something different maybe what do you think about it that depends. Why? It depends. Because it's legal, oh. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if it is legal, it's fine. Okay. Yes. Yeah, true fact. Yes, true. Because of the company, right? Maybe the if if doesn't have like many, like a lot. If it has a lot of people, yeah, you can fire like some some of them, right? like happens here in El Salvador, right? One day you're working, the other one not working, oh my goodness, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because it happens. I have seen some people, oh my goodness, it's so sad. What about you, Miss Abigail? What do you think about number two? Miss Abigail Bonilla? Oh, what about, hello. oh, hello. Number two, what can you tell me? Are you agree or disagree? Should give me your opinion. Mm. 
Good. Good. It's good. Do you think it's good to, to fire people? <laughs> For like um, to save the company? Creo que vaya, esta oración dice el año pasado un um, un oh my goodness owner of a company it would be like uh, el dueño de una dueño? compañía ajá despidió a muchas personas porque eh, tú crees que dice y the owner carries such an action to save the company el dueño hizo tal acción para poder salvar la compañía so what is your opinion it's a good it's a bad why why is it good or it's bad Mm. Mm. In, in family company company it, it, mm. if it is a family company uh -huh. the, no. uh, I don't know como, como explicarlo en inglés <laughs> yes you can do it try it please you have to try it uh huh mm. the Owner. Uh huh. Mm, took that action. Oh, tough action. Uh huh. Mm, <coughs> to say the company. So it's good. Mm, yes. Okay. He wants to say the company. Uh -huh. Maybe, but the <laughs> people is uh -huh. bad for them. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what happened if it is the country? ¿Qué pasa si es el país? Maybe the country that doesn't have money and they cannot pay it. Or maybe it can, it can be saved later, right? O tal vez puede ser que despide a esas personas, pero después cuando se vuelva rico otra vez, they're going to hire people, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we don't know. But thank you, Miss. Good idea. Thank you for sharing. Let's see next one. Can you help me with number three, please, Miss Lady? With the sentence, it's, a man it's mandatory. Miss Lady, are you there? <laughs> yeah. Really good. Okay. Is the reason? I'm sorry? Mm, ¿Cómo debo contestar? No, no. Can you read the number three? Uh, uh, please. Okay. Yes. It's a mandatory uh -huh. for everybody to check on his hair profits to mm -hmm. see how much can be invested or spent. Very good. Do you think it's important or mandatory for everybody to check her profits? Like you do, I don't know if you have Shiva Wallet, right? But if you have Shiva Wallet, are you checking? It's important. Es importante eso, chequear las ganancias para ver cuánto has invertido o, gas, o like gastado, sí. Like for example, in, like I, I was going to say the other one is Ether, Ether, I forgot the name and I love that, that one, Etherman, no, Ether, Ethernet, I think, no, that's for the internet, Ethernet, wait, let me search for them. There's another besides Bitcoin, because Bitcoin, as you know, it's for from Elon Musk, right? So are you shaking if you have it? You have like things like that. Do you shake your profits? If there it's a room, it's e room, easy room. Uh-huh. Do you shake for that? Do you think it's mandatory to do that? Ustedes creen que es mandatorio hacer eso? Miss Rebecca, what do you think? If you have like Something like that, right? When you invest, cuando tú inviertes en algo, en algo, o inviertes en como, por ejemplo, ahora vean la moneda esta virtual que este 
que ha salido a flote, porque siempre ha estado, nada más que hoy es como más común aquí, digamos, en El Salvador. El Bitcoin, el Bitcoin ya. Yeah. Porque si es, existía, bueno, yo lo, yo lo conocía por, por Elon Musk, que es el creador de los Tesla. Um, I love to read, sorry, but I know a little, a little bit. So, eh, por eso lo conocía, por Elon Musk, que es el creador de los Tesla, y él hablaba mucho en su Twitter de, de, de Bitcoin. And so, y te, pero ahora también están oh, muchas, de hecho, muchas eh, coins, eh, virtual coins, right? Like Ethereum and, and other ones, right? ¿Tú crees que es importante o mandatorio para todas las personas to check the profits? Para che ¿Tienen que chequear las ganancias de eso? Para ver si pueden invertir o gastar. Do you think, uh, or maybe the money, only the money. Do you think it's mandatory? I think yes. Why? Because mm -hmm. um, if you know, mm -hmm. cuánto, <coughs> how much, how much mm -hmm. money do you have? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to say? Ahorrar or, mm -hmm. or investing. Exactly, right? Good idea, Miss. Thank you. What do you think, Mr. Francisco? For the last teacher. I'm sorry? For Mira, the last one. Yes, for number three. What do you think about it? Mm -hmm. Because it's very important for the company this, for the check. Uh, but for all, you, for, for people, uh, for the regular people, yeah, for regular, like anybody, uh -huh. do you think it's important or mandatory, like mandatory or like necessary? It's a mandatory, yeah. It's a mandatory. Um, Why? In my case, for the, my company, it's a mandatory. That, really? <laughs> yes. But for you or for the company, mister? For the company. Ah, okay. But for you, it's mandatory to check <laughs> how much money no. you have. <laughs> Not nothing. Not I wait in the. Uh, I wait in this. Uh, <laughs> for the last day of the month, Mister. That, that's what happens for the Salvadorians. That's what happens for the Salvadorians. We no, never no. check what we spend. So, look, yes, spend, 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 spend. Let's buy new TV. Let's buy. That's what happened for that, us. That's that absolutely correct, uh, teacher, because uh, um, uh, my money is a cash payment that hosts. <laughs> Mister. So, yeah. Yes, I feel is. you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yes, yes. we, I think, I don't know, but something that I would recommend to everybody here and to me too in Cyber, we should do a balance sheet every day, not every day, but every month, right? Creo que todos los meses deberíamos de hacer como una, un, una, una hoja de resultados o una hoja de gastos, maybe, because we could save money, not a lot of money, but we could save, right? Yes, Miss Rebecca, you're going to say something. Do you do it? I have a, a nice. notebook nice. with the Very good. with the money with my cuenta. Oh, Six nice. Uh, entradas y salidas. Exactly. That's perfect. We should do it. Everybody should do that one. I just started doing, but it's so hard. It's so hard because you, I want to spend so much. <laughs> but I, I'm like. Okay, no, don't spend too much because we have to save money. Remember that here, we it's everything is expensive now. It's everything get, getting high and high, right? Everything like the fruits, it's expensive now. So we have to be saving right now because we are going to, I don't know what is going to happen on, on December because it's, everything is going to be so expensive. Now let's go ahead and continue. Now for this one, it's, uh, oh, first of all, I have a question for you. What things do you do in a bank? Can you remember to me what things do you do in a bank? What actions or what activities do you do in a bank? Pay bills. Oh, very good. Pay bills. What else? Pays money. 
<laughs> save, save, yes, right? Save, save uh, the money, yes. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. save money. What else do you do in the bag? Let me, let me do the list. Give me one second. Uy, what happened? Uh -huh. What else do you do? Bueno, vamos a utilizar la de Zoom then. Teacher, uh -huh. how do you say pedir un préstamo o un ah, crédito? Ah, very good, Miss. Thank you. Ask for a loan, okay? Ese es préstamo, loan, okay? Eh, Manage a credit card. Oh, very good. Manage a credit card. ¿Quién me dije? Algo me dijeron al principio, pero I forgot in the bank. What do you do? Pay bills. Ah, pay bills. Thank you. Pay bills. What else do you do? Think about it. When you go to the bank or when you have the bank in línea, what do you do in the bank in línea on your phone? Transfer. Ah, transfer money. Seguro de vida, no sé cómo se dice. Pay for life insurance. Insurance. Very good, Miss. Life insurance, it would be uh, seguros de vida. Just let me check insurance because I always, I always forgot how to write. A anything else? Oh no, it's perfect. Oh no, I'm, I'm using an E, it's an I. What else do you do in your bank in línea or in the bank? <laughs> what else do you do? Think about it. He says that save money, ask for a loan, manage your check, credit. Uh -huh. Check our money. Yes, definitely check the money that you have in your account, cuenta, account, okay? Then in the account, we have, as you know, here in El Salvador, we have two different types, I guess. It's, um, it would be the personal account, okay? And, the, and there is also a business account, okay? Okay, so there are two types. Those are the ones, just let me check one more. Oh my goodness, where are you? So anything else that we do? Mm -hmm. Pay the basic service. Oh, basic but it, service. but, uh-huh, yeah. But that one means it would be the same as pay bills, pay, uh, uh, service yeah. uh-huh it's the same mm -hmm. because when you pay the bills you pay water you pay lights okay you pay what else what other bills that you pay um oh, internet uh, in, in, phone, phone uh-huh what else another insurance for the car for example tal vez tienen para el carro insurance so car insurance maybe you pay Maybe you pay uh, electric. Ah, it, it would be electric lights. Aquí, sorry, I forgot. Oh, okay. uh -huh, electric. No, así como una refrigeradora ah, o algo que nos saca. Yes, uh, those are, wait, I forgot. Línea blanca, pero no sé. Uh -huh, <laughs> yes, uh, it would be, I forgot that too, wait. PlayStation. Okay, so PlayStation, maybe you're paying, those are pays that you have, like those are bills that you have to pay. But wait, the, the other one, so it would be, wait, cocina, cocina, que otras cosas van en, las, en la línea blanca, lavadora. Oh my goodness, I forgot to say it. Name for supplies, but it's not supplies. Clothes? No, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, definitely right. You have to pay the maybe the, the credit card, right? So yeah, no, it's well. Anyways, I think this one pay the what? Oh, the 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 what the services was the other one, but. Things for the house, maybe house, house, furniture, furniture. Okay, furniture means house furniture. Los muebles de la casa o los objetos de la casa, okay? 
And then you can also send money. Remember that we maybe don't do it. Maybe we receive money, right? I don't know. But you can send money. También se puede enviar dinero, right? Nowadays. And, and you can do it Richard, with that. Richard, Richard. I'm sorry? Richard, como recarga. Ah, Richard. Yes. Recharge money. <laughs> Pero eso sería como el adelanto salarial, mister. But mm. I, I don't know how to say that. I, I really don't know. I just. And Richard and Manny, and also for the Richard, for the. I, I forget this over the telephone. It's a company, Claro, Diesel, Movistar. But I think you do it in the webpage of them, or you do it by the Panca Linea. No. Yes. Really? Yes. You can buy the saldo. <laughs> you can buy the saldo. <laughs> okay, monthly payment, it's another one, or the salary, right? That's another one. The monthly payment is a pago mensual o salarial, eh, y otro salary can be another word. Ese es otro el sinónimo, okay? Por eso se los pongo a la par, porque son los sinónimos, okay? So any words, any other words, or any other actions that you do in your, in your banks? Or I think that will be all, right? And Mr. that was saying recharge the, the phone. Recharge <laughs> the phone, the phone away. Pay, prepay, prepay phone, prepay phone. Prepay phone. Porque es de prepago. Anything else? I think that would be all right. Pay the, um, pay the medical? Medicales. Ah, pay hospital. Pay the what else you say? The derecho uh, fiscales. Medical? Derecho fiscales, me. Oh my goodness. I know. Er el uh -huh. recibo que dan cuando paga el, el, el DUI. Oh, so those would be bills it's still it's 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 a service miss so it would be pay service siempre sería un servicio okay mm -hmm. yeah another one that you say mr eh, francisco pay the rent <laughs> oh definitely very good pay the rent no sé porque si eso es de color ay que feo pay the rent oh i know why Anything else that you would like to add? Right now is the time. Algo más que quisieran agregar? I think it's it's that. Mm, buy the, pay the um, provision store. Oh, pay, pay, pay the. Pay, what, pay. Pay. I'm sorry. Uh, provision. Es que estaba pensando en provision. What about what? What is the meaning for provision for you, Mister? What is that? Like the supermarket? In the supermarket, yes. It's okay, so a, pay vegetable, fruit. Okay, so pay for for supplies. Ah, of, okay. of, uh -huh. For food supply. Play for for food supplies. Okay. Y de ahí para la escuela sería pay for school supplies. Okay. Y de ahí para el trabajo pay for work supplies or job supplies, okay? Todos los suplementos o las cosas que necesiten siempre van a ser supplies, okay? Any other words? I think those are most of the actions that you do like um, when going to the bank, right? Right, right, right? Am I right? I think so. Now, and let me show you here in the activity that we are going to do right now here, are some more activities that you didn't mention that I am going to show you, okay? And so, and we are going to use it in, in a moment. So one that you didn't mention, and I, I don't know if you know this, but in the bank, you can use the ATM. And I, I have seen that many of, uh, for example, Banco Credomatic, ya le pusieron ese nombre, ATM. Y ATM is autom automatic transfer, money transfer, okay? So that's the meaning for ATM. Y es el, el, la maquinita que está afuera. El, oh my goodness, what is in Spanish? Um, 
de cajero, cajero automático. automático. Yes, thank you. <risa> cajero automático. Another one, setting up a bank account. Cuando agarran una cuenta de banco, you are setting up a bank account, ¿ok? Uh, asking for checks, cheques, the little checks, se llaman cheques, cheques, okay, cheques. Card gets declined cuando la, se le sale denegada la tarjeta, decline, ok. Making a deposit, depósito, ok. Making a deposit, asking for about fees. It's, this is another word. Eh, instead of payment, you can use fees, ok. Este, fees significan pagos o multas, ok. Making a withdrawal. Hacer un, un retiro, pero el withdraw se le dice cuando es en un ATM. Ok, yo voy a hacer un retiro, le dice, yo quiero hacer un retiro, le dice del cajero automático. Ah, oh, eso se llama withdrawal, ok. Paying fees, pago de moras o de cuotas. Check, check bounces, eh, chequear el balance de tu cuenta, se dice check bounces, esa es otra manera de decir, ok. And in all the banks, there is a minimum balance requirement, ¿ok? En todos los bancos hay un mínimo de requerimiento de, de dinero que tú puedes dejar. Bueno, yeah. I think it's like one dollar, I guess. I'm really not sure about this. Uh, but I know that in three months they get closed. Solo sé que en tres meses pues la cierran. Sí, aunque tengas dinero, like if you don't have any movements or any money transferring, you have a closed bank account. Transferring money, transferencias de dinero, eh, not getting a bank statement. Ok, not getting a bank statement, como la, el estado de cuenta, miren, a bank statement. Ok, so sometimes that happens, right? Canceling an account, esa es otra actividad que ustedes pueden realizar, cancelar la cuenta del banco, right? Como ya no la tiene, ah, I want to close it, right? Any other things that we have, it's like, for example, we cashing a check, cambiar un cheque, canceling a check, cancelar un cheque, Reporting wrong charges. Report, ustedes van al banco y también, bueno, o llaman, ¿verdad? Este, para reportar que les han cobrado algo que ustedes no han gastado, maybe. And also, the last one is operating another account. Y también sería la, la última, que, que alguien eh, o usted quiere hacer eh, operaciones en otra cuenta, como quiere pagar una cuenta, o quiere pasarle dinero, quiere pagar una tarjeta, o un préstamo or a loan or anything, okay? So these are some of the actions that you can do. And so what are we going to do right now? Each of these, as you can see, you can touch them, okay? Let me see if I can take this one, okay? So you can touch any of these. Like for example, I'm gonna take this one, making a withdrawal because I love doing withdrawals. So check, I'm gonna click on that. And when I click, you're going to close here and you have a conversation here, okay? What are you going to do? I'm gonna put you in pairs and you're going to practice the conversation that you have. You have two conversations. You are going to choose only one and you can also listen to the conversation, okay? If you don't know how to pronounce it, you can listen to that. But first you have to choose one. Pero primero vamos a elegir una de esas, de esas options que les mostré. Si se fijaron, vea. Yes? And then when you choose one, cuando la elijan, And so you will start practicing, okay? La empiezan a practicar because in that conversation you will see the phrases that I just showed you porque en esa conversación que van a elegir van a ver las frases que les acabo de mostrar, okay? Durante toda la clase. Yes? So I'm gonna send you the link right now. Les voy a enviar el link. Recuerden que ahí pues eligen una... Cuando ya tengan su pareja, vean, elijan una de las conversaciones. Igual, los que están de oyentes, solo quiero saber si Miss Lady está de oyente. No, ¿verdad, mí? No, Miss. Ok, ya lo voy a poner activa acá porque me sale oyente. Miss Esmeralda, ¿y usted? ¿Oyente o no? I think no, right? And then, I think the rest, no. Miss Abigail. Miss Kenya, ah oh, no, Miss Kenya is there. Abigail Bonilla. 
Mr. Ezequiel, hello, welcome, Mr. Thank you, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you, Mr. I'm okay. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna create the, the pairs, okay? Voy a crear las, las pairs. Remember, choose the conversation, choose the topic, and then the conversation, okay? Recuerden, primero elegir el, el tema, porque van a tener muchos que les pueden interesar. So you can practice, practice. Remember, it's very important. Recuerden que es muy importante. So let's see. Give me one second. Give me a second. Okay, so one of you is going to be four, okay? Un grupo va a quedar de cuatro, so try to practice. Eh, like, you can exchange roles, okay? Pueden cambiar ahí de roles in, in, a, like in a minute. For this activity, I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay? So let's go ahead. The link is in the chat. El link ya está en el chat para que puedan darle click y elegir una de las, convert, una de las topics, okay? So let's go. Accept the invitation, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Miss Abigail, can you accept the invitation, please? Abigail Bonilla. Teacher, what happened? I'm sorry. Lo que pasa es que mi Abigail eh, Mejía está de oyente, entonces I want you to practice with Mr. Jose Ezequiel, please. <laughs> yes, because the other Abigail, I don't know what happened to the other Abigail. Ella, él iba a trabajar con la otra Abigail, pero no sé, se, no, no contesta. So that's why, sorry, Miss, but you can do it. I know you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss. Miss Rebecca Guillón. Yes. Just the topic. Mm, what do you like? Uh, will be the weather. Will be the. Uh, but, Mister, you have um there in the link that I just sent you. You have some topics, Mister, about the bank because we are talking about accounting today. Ah, no es del que queramos nosotros. No, no, no. There, as you can see there in the chat, you can see a link. Go to the es link. Que no lo he mirado, teacher. Ay, mister. Ah, ya lo vi. De, digo, ya lo vi. So there you have um, like options for the bank, bank uh, conversation. Checks, making deposit. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, making a deposit. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Mm, hay tres. Ah, sí. But choose Ajá. one. Choose one of them. Mm. What number? Ah, 
Uh, number three, I said. Okay. We have to listen that conversation. Are you practicing? Uh, no, creo que Esmeralda no puede activar el micrófono ahorita. Oh, my goodness. Give me one second, mister. I think, wait, wait. Hmm. Oh, there's nobody else, mister. I'm going to practice with you then. I'm, for, I'm forever alone. <laughs> Don't say that. Tell me, tell me what conversation do you want to do so I can do it with you because uh, there's nobody else. Es que no sé por qué no aceptan la invitation. I'm, I'm giving you the invitation and they don't do it. Okay. What conversation do you want? Like, what topic, sorry? Uh, I'm making a withdrawal. Ah, withdrawal. 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 Mm -hmm. Number one, two, withdrawal. or three? Uh, number one. Ah, okay. So are you A or B? A. A, okay. So you may start. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. What can I do for you? I need to withdraw some money. How much would you like to take out? I need to withdraw $300. Which account would you like to take the money from? I want to take it from my checking account. Here you go. Thank you very much. Can I do anything else for you? Yes, can you change me this $50? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you change it for me? Because it's, it's ripped from the skin now. I don't okay. like ripped. <laughs> okay, let me check. Okay. Can it you is give another. Me, can you give me tens? Can you give me tens, the $50, please? Okay. Because I don't like the $50 bills. It's too big. Okay. No, they are going to do, what was the name of this? This camp. They are going to give me a $50 that is not worth it. It's it's fake. A fake okay. $50 bill. So change it, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but good job, Mr. Thank you. Okay, Just thank kidding. you, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me go. I, I'm going to check the other ones you practice. Very good, mister. Okay, so let me thank go. Thank you. <laughs> And the other number. Up to you, depend to you. Another number. Um, let me see, let me see. Match. Okay. Vale. Perfect. Justo tiempo que viene la teacher, terminamos. The three conversations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss Kenya, le, le voy a cambiar de grupo porque necesito que me ayude con, con Mr. que está solo, Mr. Juan José. Ok. Y sí. practica mis deals y mis eh, Michelle, please. Thank you. Ok. Bueno, dice. Ok. Siempre yeah. con la primera. Sí, vámonos a la primera. Okay. Quiero ser A. Ah, how are you doing? Great. Thanks for asking. What, what can I do for you today? I would like to deposit some money. I Are you depositing cash or a check? Okay. No sé si se puede escoger otra después de haber ingresado o, o le damos ah, sí con esa. Ah, se puede, esa. pero si quieres, démosle con esta. Porque aquí okay. hay tres conversaciones. Si quieres, practicamos las tres. Okay. Vaya, empiezo. Porque la primera ya la oh. practicamos con, con la teacher. Si quieres la segunda. Ah, vaya, la segunda. Ok. How are you? Un momento, por favor. Ok, another one. Um, transferring money. Number six. Number six. Transferring money. Oh, money, money, money. Everybody want to money. Okay. Me, could you please transfer that money to
Okay, so almost. Let's wait a second for the other ones. Okay, so everybody's now here. Very good. I was listening to your conversations. Very good because I, I could see that some of you were lat like uh, listening to the audio. Perfect. Okay. Este pude ahí notar que algunos decidieron primero em empezar por el audio. Uh, that was great because you can listen to new words porque pudieron escuchar a, a ciertas palabras. No sé si hay alguna palabra que ustedes vieron por ahí que necesiten como, oh, miss, ¿qué significa eso? What is that? Tell me. Right now is the time. If you have any doubts, let me know. Or no questions so for the vocabulary. It's everything good. Okay. So... Thank you, and you did an amazing job. Right now, I'm gonna do a tenant section because it's already late. Voy a hacer sección de asistencia, por favor, digan, say presente, right? Abigail Mejía. Miss Abigail Mejía. Oh, thank you, Miss eh, Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia. Oh, she's pres like what? Okay. Dania Lisbeth, oh, tuvo problemas. Dice Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Oh, creo que el micrófono, ya me acordé. Yes, thank you, Miss. Francisco Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. I don't know what happened to Mr. Jorge. Pero que okay. eh, José Ezequiel. Here, teacher. Thank you, Juan Jose. Presente. Thank you, Kenya Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, Lady Xiomara. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you, eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Sandra Vigail. Sandra Patricia. Stephanie, Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Awesome. So let's go ahead and continue. So no worries with the, 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 the things that you were watching there. Now, as you can see, we have learned any other words, right? Ahí aprendimos otras palabritas que tal vez no la habíamos visto en el listado que estuvimos haciendo. Pero por ejemplo, withdraw, ahora ya saben que es retiro, ya sea en un ATM o en el banco, vea. Debt es deuda, eso también se me había olvidado mencionarles, debt. Eh, ahí estaba en una conversación, lo acabo de ver hace un, hace un ratito. And I don't remember all the words, but okay. Eso no nos gusta, teacher. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody likes debts. Yeah, I, I feel you, miss. I don't like them either. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. And um, wait. So here we have another practice time for our counting. So here you're going to see some sentences, okay? And I want you to tell me, give me one second. I want you to tell me, you have to read the sentence and give me which one do you think is the word related to the money related, okay? Or accounting related. Which one do you think it is? Which one is the word right there that is related with money? In number one, ¿cuál es la frase o la palabra que está relacionado con money in la sentence number one? Credit cards. I'm sorry? Credit cards. Credit cards, number one. Another one? Debt. Debts, the one that we don't like, right? <laughs> number two, what's the word that is related with money? Number two. Salt. Salt, yes. Anything else?
Anything else? Anything else? Right, right, pets. Me off. Oh, yes, rip me off. Very good. Me quito o me quitaron. Okay, a la fuerza. Another one is great deal. That's another word. Great deal. Buen trato. Un buen trato. Okay, buen, great deal. Cuando un buen trato, así como que cuando agarras, agarras una tarjeta y te dice, oh, one percent of interest at, at the year. <laughs> That's a great deal. Okay, number three. Number three. Where, which ones are the money words in number three. Buy. Uh, buy, yes, buying. Best Ma deal. Yeah, best deal, another one, right? It's another way to say great deal. And chop, shop remember, uh -huh, chopped, because it's, we have to spend money, right? Number four. Mm -hmm. Number four, what is it? Insurance. Hell insurance, right? We have to pay for the <laughs> hell insurance. And the other one, it will be for out, okay? For out, it's like soltar, or in, in salvadoreño, it's like uh, dar, or like aflojar el dinero, okay? Cooperar, okay? Number five. Spending. Spending, uh-huh. Okay. Spent, uh huh, spent, gastar también, vea. And also money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also cut back. Cut back, it's like when you say, like, uh, recorte, o recorte de dinero en este caso, vea, porque dice, I need to cut back on my spending. Tengo que recortar mis gastos. I spent way too much last month. Yo gasté demasiado dinero el mes pasado. Dice. Okay, so cut back, recortar, o, 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 o or another one, it could be like, uh, dejar de gastar tanto. Pues. Number six, worse. Related with money. Saving. Uh -huh, saving up. And I think just that, number seven. To buy. Aha, uh -huh, to buy. And that's it. Ah, chips in. Aha, uh -huh, chips in. That would be if chips in is like um, eh, aport, aportar dinero. En algo como de recolectemos, hagamos la caguda, como dice, caguda, caguda, I don't know how to say it. Like you recolectar money, okay? So that chips in, okay? Están de acuerdo en, sería. Number eight, for money only, right? Recuerden que todas estas son solo para money, okay? Money words. Money. Money, obviously, yeah. And then? Pay. Pay, yes. And? What else? Lend, okay, lend. Prest, uh -huh, prestar, right? But this lend, it doesn't come back, right? Number nine. Money. Money, yes. A splash out, okay? Uh-huh. Splash out, it's gastar muchísimo dinero, okay? You splash out in a cell phone, in an iPhone 13, no, 13 Pro Max, okay? So you splash out money, <laughs> okay? Number 10. Bank. Uh -huh, bank is related with money, very good. To, put down. to put down. Uh -huh, put down, bajar, vea. Put down and mortgage. Mortgage is hipoteca, okay? 
mortgage. That's one word for money. Recuerden que este es para el money, right? Todas esas palabritas, porque estas palabritas ustedes también las pueden ver en otro contexto. Porque mortgage también se le dice el lugar donde llegan los dead bodies, right? But mortgage, mortgage in here, it would be like the hipoteca, the, I don't know, house, car, anything that you have a mortgage in, okay? So any words or any doubts that you don't know from here that you would like to know or you want some help? You're good so far. Okay, I'm gonna move on. So let's see. Uh, no, we are not going to do this one, neither this one. Um, I think, well, yeah, we do have time. So just to finish, okay, talking time because we haven't talked much, let's say. Uh, in this one, I have some questions as you can see, they are obviously in past, but they are related with money, okay? So can you help me to read the question number one, please? Mr. Francisco, help me to read number one. When was the last time you splashed out on something expensive? What did you buy? Uh -huh. Can you tell me your answer for that one, mister? Ah. <laughs> what was the, the no, last? No, 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 no. Splash. <laughs> A splash out. Splash es como, out. como mm -hmm. un gasto grande de dinero. Aunque es redundante. But, uh, like a big expense. Big expense. <laughs> Gran gasto. Mm -hmm. <sighs> What was the last big expense or a splash out of money that you had? For example, for me. Yes, the chair. My money, my money, my my my, my money was uh, splashed out in my cell phone. Because, really? Because my cell phone is the iPhone 12, and when I bought it, it was like almost a thousand dollars, and I regret that because now the iPhone 13 is less uh, expensive, right? It's like yes, of course, because uh, I buy it, I bought with the uh, iPhone 30. Pro Max is a $1,100. Imagine, $1, imagine, yeah. <laughs> in mine is only 12, it's only $1,000 with taxes. $1,100. Oh my, no, yes. imagine. And, mm -hmm. and also, it, a, I, buy, um, I buy my motorcycle. <laughs> Oh, yes. that's a big splash out. <laughs> yes, how much, yes. Was, how much it was your splash this, out? Uh, this, yes, it's um, for the total is a three thousand. What? <laughs> for the total is a for the iPhone and the motorcycle is a three thousand seventeen hundred dollars. Ah, okay. So for both of the things, right? Yeah, for both things, yes, right. Yeah, but it's a big splash out. Oh my goodness. Yes. But thank you for sharing, Mister. <laughs> thank You're you. Welcome, teacher. Let's see next one. Can you help me with number two, please, Mr. Jose Ezequiel, please. Yeah. Okay, number th number two. Can you help me with question number two? How much did you how much did you for out on bill last month? Uh -huh. How much did you for out last month? Like for example, on, on first out, ¿cuánto, cuánto pagaste, cuánto soltaste. Uh, uh -huh. That that is a phrasal verb. Yeah, exactly. Those are all of them, Mister. Splash out, for out, uh -huh. rebuff, save up, uh -huh. lend someone money. Uh -huh. So put down, um, ship in, shop around. Running up debts, cut back, cut back on. So yes, those are phrasal verbs. But for you, how much did you for out on bills last month, Mister? Can you share with us how much it was? Like a hundred dollars, maybe? Because it's only for bills, remember? No, teacher. No. Es que no entendí la pregunta. Oh, how much? 
¿Cuánto dinero usted canceló o pagó eh, para eh, pagar las, la, los, los servicios o los, o los, oh my goodness, what would be the other word? Bills, 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 bills. Pagos, seguro, no, seguros no. Los pagos que usted hizo el mes pasado. Los taxes, no. No, no los taxes, no. Like, um, recibos, los recibos del mes pasado. How much oh, do you pay? I think around 120. Hmm, okay, so... I was close. I said $100. We're very good, mister. Okay. So we are going to stay here tomorrow. We'll, we'll continue with this. Okay. And thank you for being here. Uh, remember, please to work in the platform. Okay. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know on the WhatsApp group as well. Okay. Or in private. Sorry that I take so long sometimes, but I will answer the questions that you do. Okay. In WhatsApp. So we are going to stay here. Thank you for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night. Bye. Take care. Have a great night.